Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and in these videos I try and break down productivity tips, tools and techniques. In this video I'm going to pass over to Carl and Carl's basically going to summarise um, how he uses his Todoist across his day um, and other apps that link in with it. So this will be very much a video that will allow you to get insight on how other people in the community are using Todoist and all of those are other applications. So I'm going to let Carl take over from here and uh, I want to wish you all of the best. Make sure you have a great week and keep productive. Thank you very much also to everyone who's commenting in the section below. If you're new to the channel, just let me know and, and I'll definitely have a chat with you in the comments. But also thanks everyone for helping me reach over 900. Really, really tired, just come back from a trip. So uh, appreciate uh, all of the comments recently. Thank you and I'll see you soon. Well, thank you very much, Francesco, for allowing me to do this video and to talk to your subscribers and your viewers about how I use Todoist. Now, before we get started, I think I should tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I originally grew up in the United Kingdom in a city called Leeds, which is up north, as we say, in Yorkshire. I went to university in my hometown in Leeds, uh, Leeds Metropolitan University, where I studied law. And I graduated and went to work for a law firm for a few years um, after that. Now, after a couple of years of working in an office, working in a law firm, I pretty much decided that I didn't like working in an office and needed a little bit of time out to think about what I really wanted to achieve in life. So I came over here to South Korea in 2002 and I started teaching English in one of the local English language institutes. Uh, that was 13 years ago. Very quickly I fell in love with this country. It's an amazing country and in particular the city of Seoul which is such a vibrant fascinating city that's constantly changing. So over the years, um, shortly after getting married, I started my own company uh, called Fancorp English Solutions and I've been working with companies throughout South Korea, helping them to communicate better, particularly with presentations and writing and so on and so forth. Um, also, over the last 25 years, actually since 1993, 1994, I've been fascinated with productivity. Uh, one of my former managers sent me on a uh, Franklin Covey leadership program and I was introduced to the Franklin Planner. And I, in 2009, I graduated to David Allen's Getting Things Done when I became a little bit more digitally orientated. So. Uh, last year I started writing a book on, on productivity and what I've learned about productivity and my system and the book's called Your Digital Life. Uh, it should be published at the end of this month uh, on Amazon and through iBook Store. So get yourself a copy if you can. So anyway, without further ado, let me get into how I'm showing you how I used to do it and and see if I can give you some tips on what you can do to improve your usage of Todoist. So, let's get started. Okay, let me first show you how I use Todoist on my iPhone. My iPhone's carried with me everywhere I go throughout the day, so it is probably the most important tool I have Todoist on. Now, as you can see, Todoist is in a very accessible place on my home screen, but it is not in my dock. And there's a very good reason for this. If you open up Todoist, you'll find there is no plus button to add a quick task. On the whole, this is not really a huge problem. But for me, as I'm running around the city, I often find I have a task idea when I'm running to catch a train or catch a bus or just walking down the street. And in this case, I want to quickly add the task. To overcome this problem, I have an application called Drafts. Now, Drafts is a quick note-taking app that when you open it up like this, it immediately opens up at a screen you can start typing or speaking into. Now, let's say, for example, I need to remind myself to take my dog, Barney, for a walk tonight. In this case, all I have to do is say or type, take Barney for a walk tonight. And then tap 
the top right button, the square at the top right, and I am immediately presented with a number of options available. In this case, I'm just going to select New Today Todoist Task. Now, what Drust will do is send this task to my Todoist inbox. If I don't have time to send the task to Todoist, then one of those annoying red identification notification bubbles will appear on my Drafts app icon, reminding me every time I look at my phone, I have a task I haven't processed. Now, uh, let me just add this task. Great. Now, I just want to quickly show you my filters. Filters, in my opinion, is what makes Todoist really sing on the iPhone. I typically have around 30 tasks a day to complete. Now if I look at my today screen first thing in the morning, it can be pretty overwhelming. So I created a number of filters that would give me tasks that I need to complete in the morning, tasks I need to complete in the afternoon, and tasks I need to complete in the evening. And I use the Todoist flag system to achieve these filters. So, priority one flags means absolutely must be done today, i.e. priority one. Priority two flags means morning priority, morning priorities uh, means I want to do the task in the morning. Uh, priority three tasks means I want to do the task in the afternoon, so I have quite today PM. And priority four tasks are tasks to be done in the evening. So now, if I look at my um, my when I open up to do it in the morning, and I take a look at my phone, I just go to filters and look at today AM. I probably only have about five or six tasks in front of me, but they do need to be done in the morning. Now, this is really uh, just to prevent myself from getting overwhelmed when I look at my tasks in the morning. So really, that's all I wanted to show you on my uh, iPhone. Uh, next, let me take you to my desktop and show you how I process my uh, tasks and how I organize my tasks completely. Okay, so let me now show you how I use Todoist on my desktop. The desktop version of Todoist uh, is pretty much where I do all my processing. My iPhone essentially is for ticking off tasks and capturing ideas and commitments that I make throughout the day. When I get home in the evening, I can open up my Todoist and start processing and doing my basic daily admin work. So let's start off with the usual interface. And we have here today view, which I have a few tasks left to finish uh, today. <clears throat> As you remember on my iPhone, I, collect, connect, I created the task Take Barney for a Walk Tonight. Now, on this case, how I would process this is pretty straightforward. Is uh, I know this is going to be a home task because I can only do it really when I'm at home. And for my, I said I'm going to do it for today, so let's get it in for today. Um, I don't use times, and for some reason it really doesn't like me typing that in, so let's just do the, the cheat and just click on that. Now, uh, this is going to be an evening task. It's already set up for an evening task, so that's done. Now, this task probably wouldn't need to be processed uh, any further, but let's just say this was a task that I wasn't going to do today, and I'm going to schedule it for some time next week. I'm going to want to assign it to one of my projects. Now, taking my dog for a walk is a personal task, so over here is my personal master folder, and I have this wonderful little single actions subfolder for it. So all I have to do now is just save that one and I can click on here and drag it into my single actions. Now, the other thing I could do, if you prefer it this way, you can do it, uh, move to another project, which click on there and you get all your projects in here. But I'm in the habit of just dragging and dropping. So let's just drag that to my single actions folder and go to my today and now it's there. As it's an evening task, it's down at the bottom for evening. Okay, so my, as I mentioned in my um, iPhone thing, my filters. Now I've gone through my today, AM, PM and evening, and but one filter I don't use on my phone, but I do use on my desktop, which is this particular filter. 
Now what this filter basically is, if you just if I can show you that from here, it's uh, project inbox today and overdue. That's all it is. There's nothing else in there. Now the reason I do this is because sometimes, particularly if you come home and you're very tired, it's quite easy to forget about your inbox if you're just looking at today. So I use this dashboard filter, it has everything in here. I know that the top part is going to be for processing. So I can just quickly process my inbox and hit off my today task. It's a really, really useful filter to have. It just means that everything is in one screen for when you're doing your final processing and uh, organizing for the end of the day. <clears throat> okay, let's just now look at my projects. Now, the key part to my productivity system is this folder here, my routines. Now, I separated out my routines into daily, weekly, and monthly routines. And the reason I do this is, is because every day there are certain tasks that I'm going to have to do, whatever, whatever day it is. And let's just look at my daily routines task. Some of these obviously are not going to make much sense to you guys, but... Uh, this is in date order. I have two regularly connected tasks here. Uh, I have a task here, what have I created today? It's just a reminder to keep me focused on creating or producing something every day. Uh, update FES admin sheets and calendar. This is just my, uh, FES is my company and it's just, uh, just to update the admin sheets that I have. Add new word of the day to word of the day file um, is just an ongoing thing that we do for our clients. So all these things are pretty much every day. Now, what you'll notice is quite a lot of tasks for tomorrow. But if you look here, we've got Monday. And these are the tasks that I would have that are Monday to Friday. I put them into my daily routines task because really they are um, daily routines. Weekly routines, same again, except obviously there's a more variation in the time, the dates. Uh, monthly routines, generally invoicing and... Um, other admin stuff and they have specific dates like the end of the month or uh, one's coming up on Thursday and I've got to review my systems tomorrow which is a recurring three monthly task. Every three months I review my systems and obviously with the introduction of iOS 9 this week I have a few new things to look at on my phone and iPad to see if I can build them into my system. So that's my routines. It is the core, it's like the central part of my uh, productivity system. My work projects are in here. I don't normally have this many. Obviously collaboration with Francesco, which we're doing now. Um, I just have an email in there because this project is coming to a close, particularly on my part. Uh, and a few other work-related projects. I also have my personal projects. Um, these are quite funny, really. The autumn winter clothing, now for you guys, living in, say, Northern Europe and the US. Maybe you don't have the same situation that I have in Korea, but the weather here is a bit different. In the summer, we get hot, very hot and humid weather, uh, sticky weather. And in the winter, we get very dry and very cold weather, so it can drop down to like minus 18. And, you know, making sure that your sweaters are warm enough and your coats are all ready and clean is, is a vital process when you live in Korea. Uh, learning Korean, uh, something that I um, intermittently try and do. My wife is Korean, so I use that as an excuse for not being perfectly fluent in Korean yet, even after 13 years. Uh, Sunful is a an organization uh, that I'm involved in. And again, I have my single actions. And single actions are just for things like uh, maybe shopping items, go like, buy, an, uh, one thing that will be on there is buying books. Uh, like for Amazon, if I look in there, I've got order trigger mortis from Amazon, which is a book. And what I do is I put the, the link to the website there so that I can get to it very quickly when I'm ready to buy. Uh, I actually have a date in here, which means I'm pretty ready to buy. This one here, I've got it down for Monday, but actually I probably don't need to buy it for another month, so I can just change that date very easily. Uh, Henry Kissinger's book, again, it was originally scheduled for Monday, but again, I probably don't want to, so I'll just change that to next week. Um, oops, it's going to change to next week, so let's use the date, 28th, so there we go. Um, <clears throat> and so on, so... Basically, that's how I'm using my system on the computer. 
all my main processing is done through my um, computer and just a quick word on the new interface from Todoist I think it's fantastic I love the fact that you can change the themes um, it's kind of neat um, I haven't got it uniform I think I'm using yellow on my iPhone but you know you can change any color I know that uh, Francesco went through this um, in one of his recent videos um, you can change this and play around with it you can have your traditional Todoist red if you wish uh, tangerine's my favourite colour at the moment, but I suppose it depends. Anyway, so there you go. That's my the way I use Todoist. I hope many of you have found it very useful, and if you do, um, then let's hope you can become more and more productive. Okay. Right. So there you have it. That's how I use Todoist. I hopefully I've given you quite a few tips there on what you can do. Um, maybe you can start using uh, a few more routines and to be able to help yourself uh, just get those daily and regular habit things done and dusted. Uh, once again, thank you very much Francesco. I love your site. I love watching your videos. Uh, thank you guys for, for watching this video and please feel free to contact me. Uh, you can contact me through my website which is www.carlpauline.com I'm sure Francesco will put a link to it uh, in, the, in the, the, the notes in his video field. And I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions should you wish to have them. So, once again guys, thank you very much. Thank you Francesco and stay productive.